Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about principle of operation of DC generator. First of all, what is DC generator? A DC generator is a machine which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy and it works on the principle of Faraday's loss of electromagnetic induction. According to Faraday's first law, whenever a conductor cuts the magnetic flux, an EMF induced in the conductor, this EMF is always dynamically induced EMF. E is equals to BLV sin theta, where E is the magnitude of EMF, B is the flux density, L is the active length of conductor, V is the velocity. And the direction of induced EMF is given by Fleming's right hand rule. According to Fleming's right hand rule, thumb shows motion of the conductor, index finger shows direction of magnetic field and middle finger shows direction of induced EMF. Okay. And what are the basic requirements of DC generator? The basic requirements of DC generator are one conductor system, second one motion of the conductor and third magnetic field. These three are basic requirements. Coming to simple loop generator. Here we are taking a rectangular simple loop A, B, C, D. This loop is connected to split ring where the AC converts into DC. Split ring also called commutator. Okay? And coming to operation of simple loop generator. First, assume the loop rotates in clockwise direction in constant magnetic field with constant speed. Okay? So first, in one revolution, how the EMF induced in the loop? Let me see in different different positions. At position number one, loop and flux both are in parallel. When both are in parallel, no flux cut takes place and no EMF induced. So at position number one, the induced EMF is zero. Okay, here the induced EMF is zero. At position number two, the flux and loop both are make some angle. When here it makes some angle, the small flux cut takes place and the induced EMF is small. So here one to two, the induced EMF which is small. And at position number three, here the, in, the flux and loop both are perpendicular. When both are perpendicular, maximum flux cut takes place and maximum EMF induced. So at position number three, the induced EMF is maximum. So see here. So the maximum EMF induced at position number three. At position number four, again small flux cut and small EMF induced. At position number 5, which is opposite to position number 1, again, no flux cut, no EMF induced. At position number 6, which is opposite to, sorry, which is opposite pole. So, at position number 6, the induced EMF is again small and small flux cut takes place, small EMF induced, but this EMF is in opposite polarity. So now at question number 6 the induced EMF in opposite polarity. And next at question number 7 again maximum flux cut takes place and maximum EMF induced. So at question number 7 the induced EMF is maximum. So the induced EMF is maximum. At question number 8 again small flux cut and small EMF induced. So the induced EMF is small. At position number 9 or position number 1, 
the induced EMF is zero. Why? Because flux and conductor both are in parallel. Okay. So in one revolution, we get one cycle of EMF. In 50 revolutions, we get 50 cycles of EMF. Okay. So in this way, we are going to prove the EMF induced in a simple loop generator with the help of field, conductor and motion. Okay. And remember, always the induced EMF is AC. With the help of commutator, we are going to convert into DC. Okay. So in next video, we are going to discuss about constructional details of DC generator. Okay. Bye.